U.S. lawmakers and the American public are reeling from a damning Senate report on CIA interrogation methods. It claims the agency used brutal yet ineffective methods to extract information from detainees after the September 11 attacks in 2001. President Barack Obama described the use of what's been said to have amounted to torture as doing significant damage to America's standing in the world. Uh, there's never a, a perfect time to release a report like this. But it was important for us, I think, to recognize that uh, part of what sets us apart is when we do something wrong, we acknowledge it. The Senate committee chair, Diane Feinstein, who's a harsh CIA critic, alleging that her computer was hacked while working on the report, said the agency's actions a decade ago were a stain on U.S. history. Following her presentation, she spoke to Euronews' Washington correspondent, Stefan Grobe. I have one question. We have a good idea of what happened. We know where the pitfalls were. We know where the mistakes, some of them, were made. And we do not want to see it replicated ever again. So the point of this is never again. CIA claims that its methods led to the prevention of further terrorist attacks and the finding of bin Laden have also been dismissed. I believe that it was uh, contrary to our values and ideals and principles to conduct these kinds of activities. And secondly, I don't think it was effective. I don't think it got us intelligence that helped us. That's the testimony in the report. The FBI has warned that the report may spark a terror threat against American interests around the world. This is exactly what the Senate committee wanted to counter, by telling the truth. Stefan Grober, Euronews, at the U.S. Senate.